What if I told you that transforming your desk and gaming setup could be both cheap and stylish? Today, I'm going to be taking a leap into new territory. I've never used a monitor arm before, and let me tell you, I'm ready to see what all the fuss is about. And stick around for some important tips when installing your first monitor arm. You don't want to miss them. Right now, my desk is what you might call cozy. And by cozy, I mean everything's a little too close for comfort on my desk. My monitor's base is taking up prime real estate, and frankly, I'm one wrong move away from a scratched up desk shelf. Not to mention, I can't even enjoy the wall and aesthetic of my desk shelf, which is one of the main reasons I purchased it on top of its modular functionality. This is not ideal. So why consider a monitor arm, you ask? Well, imagine reclaiming a nice chunk of your desk space for starters. By lifting the screen off the desk, we're looking at freeing up a lot of space. Space for all those things that make your desk yours. Think more room for that new desk accessory, that collectible figure, or even a spot for some plants. A monitor arm allows you to swivel, tilt, and rotate your screen, optimizing your desk layout for productivity or gaming. Not to mention the sleek look it gives your setup. It also means adjusting your screen to your ergonomic comfort, not the other way around. So I scoured Amazon and found a monitor arm that doesn't break the bank, but promises to be a heavy hitter. I chose the Ergear Desk Monitor Arm. This one is a gas spring monitor arm, which tends to look really cool and futuristic in most setups. I snagged it for 40 bucks, and it claims it can support monitors that weigh up to 22 pounds. And that's what we're here to test out since my monitor weighs a little over 17 pounds. Now, you can find even cheaper monitor arms and mounts, but usually at the cost of the weight they can support. Also, make sure your monitor has a compatible mount. If not, you might need another accessory or two. The Ergear monitor arm uses a standard VESA mounting system, which is what my ASUS monitor has in the back. So always check those things along with the reviews before making your decision. If you're interested in checking this one out, I have an affiliate link down below in the description. Now for the assembly, and it's pretty straightforward. First up, the clamp. It's very easy to put together following the instructions. Now, I'm gonna be installing this at the front of my desk so you guys get a good look. If your desktop is too thin, it also recommends that you can add a wood block for a sturdier fit. I had one just in case you could see what that would look like, but I think I'm good without it. The arm itself snaps together smoothly, but watch out for that gas spring. It packs a punch without the monitor's weight on it. Based off the warning in the instructions, it looks more like an uppercut. Now, we're taking the monitor off the desk shelf and onto something soft to make sure we don't damage anything. Removing these screws will detach it from the base, and then we attach the base of bracket in the same location and it should fit perfectly. So perfectly that I decided to use the same screws that were there. Next, we're going to take the monitor and slide it down onto the end of the monitor arm, securing it easily with a little lift while we twist in the locking screw. Before we go any further, if you're getting value from this, would you mind tapping that like and subscribe button? I got a lot more setup content coming your way. This Ergear arm isn't just a sturdy solid monitor arm, it effortlessly lets you adjust your monitor in any which way on your desk. It can tilt, swivel, and give you a full 360 degree rotation. You can also increase or decrease the tension and rotation amount of each pivot point of the monitor arm. You just use the provided Allen keys. As for the cable management, you organize your cables into this plastic cover and then you insert and slide it into place for the top part of the arm. But routing the cables to the bottom is not as simple. Removing the screws holding the cover in place proved difficult while in this position. So I recommend routing your cables before you mount the screen to save yourself the hassle. Just make sure you leave yourself enough slack. Now here's one important tip you want to keep in mind before you install your monitor arm in its final location. Make sure you know exactly where you want it to go. I ran into an issue where I had already placed and screwed in cable management trays under my desk, so I had to unscrew and redo my cable management after installing the arm. I also like to apply my final tweaks by using a small level. Once set up where I wanted it to go, it gave my entire setup a more sleek aesthetic 
while my monitor now floats effortlessly, freeing up space on my desk shelf, letting me add a couple more plants at the end, and a decorative collectible under my monitor. I think for the price, this desk accessory is a no-brainer, and very much worth it as one of your next desk setup upgrades if you're on the fence about it. I have an affiliate link for it down in the description below where I get a small commission at no added cost to you. Have you ever used a monitor arm or have another one you recommend? Drop your thoughts below, I'd love to hear them. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you're eyeing a desk upgrade. You can also see what other tweaks I've been making to my setup in these videos right here.